I know this is difficult for you, Stephen, but the Sanctum is gone, and we need to plan for what comes next. What's next? Armageddon has already happened. What's next is hell on Earth. The barrier has been breached. Expect the world to fall, city by city, nation by nation. I'm not ready to give up, and neither should you. It's not just losing the Sanctum that hurts us. It's also Banner. We will handle him, as long as he doesn't become the Hulk. It's his mind that I'm most worried about. That rift charge is just the start of the awful things he could conceive of. He is Lilith's most powerful weapon Then now. you know what we need to fight back with, right? We tried. Blaze is being impossible unless he gives us the parchment. Shh. Voices carry. Let us lower ours. Hunter, where are you? Have you heard everything that's happening? I have one job. Protect the Sanctum Santorum, and I failed. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? Where's character? This is taking too long. How's that for quality workmanship? Okay, so that's two superhero strongholds. Lilith's reduced to rubble, and now she's gone and really pissed me off. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Later. Think Doctor Strange knows Merlin? Practice makes perfect. Ready when you are. Just remember the most of you. There are no rules. The sanctum's gone. Hell has literally come to Earth. This is a worst-case scenario. In my experience, things always get bleak before they get better. Things don't get more bleak than this. Then this will be my last stand. If I have to die to save this world, then I'll die fighting. Couldn't have said it better myself. They actually said end of the world on the news. Any news from the West Coast? Nope. 
plenty of hellish threats across the five boroughs right now to keep them busy. We can't wait for Strange. We need to start now. We should already be out there. On the bright side, Hunter, you didn't turn into a symbiote monster. I'm here if you need me. Damn it. We needed that sanctum. This is emphatically terrible for our chances against your mother. Good thing we've got her offspring on our side. The sanctum's gone. It's unbelievable. There really is nothing sacred to Lilith. Damn. What are we gonna do without the sanctum? Doctor Strange will shake this off. I'm sure he's seen worse. Getting reports of zombies in the sewers. Vampires in Manhattan? More vampires in Manhattan. The green sky is growing. All right. Let's not give in to rumors. Sorry, Cap. I don't think these are just rumors. The old Spidey sense has been on double red alert since... We lost the Sanctum? Perhaps now you understand why I was so adamant we save it. Think of the Sanctum as our world's supernatural ozone layer. When it breaks down or explodes... Holes open up. Only in this case, instead of a nasty sunburn, you get demons. Lots of demons. And his children basked in his light as the temple of the false gods fell. Oh, what album is that from? The Prophecy. The Dark God Cathan readies his return. Well, does the Dark God Cathan own a dude ranch in the Southwest? Because there's a whole lot of something going on out there. Should, uh, probably tell them. About? The Carnival. Johnny Blaze and the Quentin Carnival. No way. Who exactly is Johnny Blaze? Guys sort of a, a jerk. Legend. Famous stunt rider, fellow spirit of vengeance, and keeper of the parchment of power. The final page of the Darkhold. The missing piece my mother needs to complete the prophecy and free Cathan. When were you gonna tell the rest of us this? Welcome to our world. The entire point of a secret guardian is to remain secret. Yeah? From the look of things, I say your little secret is out. With the barrier gone, our enemies must have been able to detect the page's foul presence. Lord knows what wretched evil Lilith sent to retrieve it. The Abbey feels so lonely without Agatha. the artifacts and equipment Hydra has been absconding with, it was inevitable we'd catch them unloading equipment somewhere. Can't seem to lose them. You'll have to move quickly if we're going to recover any of their equipment. As they say, no problem. Target to work. I know that wasn't your signature move. Welcome. 
welcome assistance. I'm going in! Watch my back! I don't think they even realize the trouble there is. You've secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. Here we go. Someone order a little sandwich? Make good use of this. Forever in service. In my sights. Smack around a few. They've armed one of the crates. It's going to explode if you don't get that key. to be a Hydra officer. I'd have guessed a warm body, but I think Lilith saw some of that too. You've secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others.
cannot seem to focus. Heal her. We've got someone down over here. Reinforcements inbound. Going. Another of the crates is armed to detonate. Get to that key card. That was the last crate. Wipe out the remaining Hydra forces, and let's get you home. Done any way we know how. How much is Lilith paying you guys anyway? It hey, can't be enough. is that? Probably still won't be enough, but you can try. Try and stay up this time.
can target movement. Weak, even for Hydra. in their approach. I'm on the wrong end of the stick here. Vantage is mine. Hey, that actually hurt. Under that. Love the effort. No good like this. Engaging! That's one shipment Hydra won't be receiving. gone. It's unbelievable. There really is nothing sacred to Lilith. He may not have seen worse, but I still think he can shake this off. Did you read today's book? Of course, but you'll get nothing out of me until the meeting. On the bright side, Hunter, you didn't turn into a symbiote monster. What are we going to do without the Sanctum? 
Agatha always knew how to put a smile on my face. Doctor Strange will shake this off. I'm sure he's seen worse. Damn it. We needed that sanctum. Uh, are you heading to the meeting? Yeah, I'll be there shortly. tonight you in meet you there I walk you wasn't the first time I've read the art of war but I prefer Lilith's not stopping and neither are we looks like we're all here Grab a seat, and let's get started. I am ready. The Art of War is one of my favorite books, if not my favorite. Can anyone guess why? Because it's not just about fighting. It's about how to conduct yourself when in conflict with others. Carol gets it. For quite a while, all my interactions with people involve some form of conflict. Interesting. This book laid things out for me. Help me understand, you don't always smash yourself against a problem face first. You must understand your enemy before you can hope to defeat them. Hunter, you get this more than most. You understood Lilith, which led you to discover her weakness. With that came her defeat. I lost 300 years to understanding. I would not call that a success. I would. Your sacrifice, whatever it was, kept the world from plunging into darkness. My point here, until we know what game Lilith is playing, there's no way we can break the rules. That's the only way we win. So the favorite book of a half-vampire was written by Master Sun. I'm the Daywalker. Of course it is. Carol, what stood out for you? The chapter about flexibility in warfare. Yes, it presented distinct situations, but at its core, it promoted a philosophy of adaptability. This is a subtle but key difference from the Kree War manuals I know. Those manuals lay out how to overcome every possible contingency. Because Kree commanders always expect an answer, exceptions can flummox the ones who let the rules think for them. I have not met a Kree commander, but humans are just as capable of rigid thinking. Oh, of course. I think that's what the text is working against. The art of war encourages fluidity of thought. The variations presented in the chapter on flexibility are examples, not rote technique. And that's how wars are lost. So I've been dying to know, what is Captain America's favorite part of this book? After this read? Everything he had to say about deception and warfare. Ooh, explain. Wait, what used to be your favorite? Discussions of leadership. There's a lot of good stuff in there. I've long since internalized all that worked for me and examined what didn't. But convincing your enemy that your greatest weakness is your most powerful strength. Or the opposite, that your strength is a vulnerability? Exactly. It struck me. Especially regarding our conflict with Lilith. So, what's our greatest strength? Lilith has no allies, just thralls. She is alone in this fight, but we are united. Are we? The greatest scientific mind I've known, sorry Tony, just defected to her side. What's to stop any of us from doing the same? I don't have an answer to the question I asked, but I plan to do what the art of war suggests. Learn her weakness. Adapt as the conflict evolves. 
keep Lilith guessing. And above all, think. And that'll do it. Great. So what's our next book? I told Carol she could pick the next one. I decided on volume 32 of the Kavat Koth. The what now? It's a cross between a legal text, a spaceborne invasion defense manual, and one of those sagas that Thor seems to love. Okay, then. I promise it's not a heavy read. I thought it would be a good companion to the art of war. See you all next time. Good girl, Charlie. This is emphatically terrible for our chances against your mother. I didn't know what I was getting into when I signed up, but I'm glad we have book club. It was good to see the conclusions we each drew from the book. That's why I think we need to do this. A team that understands its disparate parts works better in concert. But don't quote me. <laughs> Sun Tzu said it better. Strange and Tony should start a Lost Headquarters support group. I'm nervous about my book. I don't know how much of it will translate. Not the language, the ideas. It is good to encounter new views. They help you better comprehend your own. You really connected with the art of war, huh? I think you'll like my choice. Give it a shot. That's all I ask. That went better than expected. I'm looking forward to reading Carol's book. Same here. Feels like Book Club is pointing out an edge we've always had, but never knew to sharpen. That's all for now. You taking off or hanging out? That is it for me. Peace. Lots of pings coming in from off-world, but this fight's not finished. Hunter. Lilith seeks to wipe all our havens from the Earth. Avengers Tower, the Sanctum Sanctorum. Our beloved Abbey must not suffer the same fate. Who's a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Hunter, I need to talk to you. I wanted to talk to you about Book Club. Oh? Having a good time? I'm having a great time. Always good to flex the old brain muscles. I need your advice, though. What kind of advice? It's about Blade. I get the feeling that all of Book Club is just his roundabout way of getting to be friends with me. I mean, I'm touched. <laughs> He seems like a good guy, but shy. So how do I tell him I'm totally cool with being best pals without scaring him off? Got any thoughts? If you want to be friends with Blade, just tell him. You really think I should just lay it out there? You guys can fight hordes of bloodthirsty killers and not bat an eye, but you want to tell another human being that you enjoy their company and you forget how to speak. Different skill sets, Hunter. But I'm always looking to improve, so thanks. I'm up to the challenge. I wish I could be more helpful. Please, you've been more than helpful just listening to me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go catch up with my reading. I'm a couple of chapters behind. 
I can tell. Watch it. No spoilers. I gotta say, I'm loving our current book. I know it's not much of a consolation prize, but knowing you're still on our side makes me feel a lot better.